today I'd like to look at what I think is one of the most important questions that, that there is. Was there ever a time when there was nothing? Well, there are really only two answers to that question. Yes or no. It's a yes-no question. So let's go and take a look at what science has to say about it. And I should say, what does today's science have to say? Well, the, the theory that most of you have probably heard about is this Big Bang Theory, uh, where uh, we have this little protoatom here and it explodes and in no time at all it, it expands and creates uh, all of the matter in the known universe. Well, there's just one small problem with this, this as an explanation of the existence of the matter, is that it starts with this sentence expanding from the size of an atom. I call it the dot 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 problem, meaning, you know, it's, there was some state, dot dot dot, something happened, something was there, dot dot dot, and we had this, then we had this, this protoatom, and you know, that's where the story begins. They always start with something, because there can never have been a time when there was nothing. And so, this is the problem. Uh, we can look at it from two, two, at two ways. We can look at it just from common sense, that there can never have been nothing simply because there is something now. And you can't get something from nothing. It's just common sense. There is something out there. And so, there can never have been a time when there was nothing. There's something. So, there can't be, have been a time when there was nothing. There's something there. So we can, that's just common sense, but we can look at it from the, from the scientific laws. And so the main one to look at is this uh, law of conservation of mass and energy. And you can read through that, but uh, what it basically says is that the total mass in a system, the total mass and energy remains a constant. It's, uh, it means you, you just can't pop into some, uh, something into existence magically. It's a general principle and it has universal applicability. It really is the one physical law that everybody agrees on. You can't get something from nothing. And so that creates the problem for science. And a good question is why? Why does there have to be a problem? Well, it goes back to, to science and, and science today and the changes that have taken place in science over the last hundred years. The very definition of the word science has changed. It used to mean the explanation of nature. Now it means the naturalistic explanation of nature, meaning only natural causes can be used to explain nature. But this is what causes the problem for science. The problem is that there can be no naturalistic explanation for the universe of the uh, for the existence of the universe because you can't get something from nothing and so it leaves this big problem in the middle of science so what do they try to do well from here on out well I mean from one one point of view it, it makes sense because this is what they really believe uh, that there was no God and so there is something now and it had to have come from somewhere and so they pursue these theories and so the one we looked at is the Big Bang Theory but you know we know that it's it's not an explanation there's this dot 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 problem it assumes assumes the existence of that that proto atom so you know where did that come from it just begs the question other theories that are you know very popular today have to do with quantum mechanics and one that is especially popular is uh, this notion of parallel universes and so what they've done is in order to overcome the problems associated with trying to explain where we came from they, they posit the existence of an infinite number of parallel universes and so being able to draw on this infinite resources of, of all of these universes they figure one of way, one of them out of this you know seemingly impossible odds out of one of them sprang the one universe ours where it actually happened but there's still a problem with that uh, in, in order to, to split into multiple universes there had to been a splitting point so you know they say okay this is our universe here they can't really explain how we got in how we came about so they it's really if you think about it just lights and mirrors trying to deflect the problem 
And so, uh, we, can't def we can't explain us, so let's just say there's all this infinite number of universes, but it still is just begging the question, where did this, the thing that it, they all split from, come from? It's still just this, this dot 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 problem. Uh, uh, other popular theories have to do with the states, these quantum states. So, so you, you see things like this where uh, they, they claim that there was this state of being in our universe uh, where it was there was nothing. And, so, and then just by some process, we popped into a different state where now there is something. Well, to give them credit, this is a, a realization of this this chicken and the egg dot 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 problem and so they're trying to say well there was a state when there was nothing and so there's this process then that something came about but there's still a problem with this quantum phenomena don't violate the conservation of, of energy and mass you, you still can't get something from nothing it really is this kind of theory really is just modern science's creation story. There's, there's no basis in natural laws that would be able to support this. And there's other theories. Uh, I sum them up uh, under the category of nothing is something. And so uh, they say, you know, well, you can, there was a time when there was nothing. It's just nothing is not just, is just not what you think it is. There actually were these particles there or some sort of, uh, uh, you know, pockets of, of something. And so they change the def definition of nothing. Well, let's just go back and look at that for what it is. Was there ever a time when there was no energy, no matter, no particles, no pockets of whatever you want to call it, just nothing? And the answer to that has to be no. There can't have been a time when none of that was around. And so that brings us back to the question and, and, of course, the answers, the possible answers. The bottom line is that there are only two answers to the question, was there ever a time when there was nothing? And, and let's assume that God is outside of the universe. If God created it, he was outside of it. So was there ever a time in our universe where there was nothing? And so there's only two answers to that question. It is a yes or no question. The first one is no. There never was a time when there was nothing. All the energy and matter in the universe today has been here forever. Well, it's not really an explanation of where it came from, is it? But it is a creed. It is something to believe in. And in fact, that's what science believed for basically ever up until just very recently in the scheme of things, the last hundred years or so. Uh, and they believe that because they they knew that you just things can't just pop into being from nothing. And there is something, so it had to have just been here forever. Well, unfortunately for that position, there is a large amount of evidence today that the universe did have a definite beginning. Now, I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, we could, but uh, the main reason I'm not going to get into it is because I don't really think any of you out there believe that there was a time there, that, that, that everything that is here today was always here. I think you all believe that it did come from somewhere. So I think all of you fit into this, this second answer to the question. Yes, there was a time when there was nothing in the universe. And as we've seen, the only logical explanation then that falls from this is the one that comes from faith. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen, the something that is here, what is seen was not made out of what was visible. In other words, the something was created by God from nothing. What is seen was not made out of what was visible. From Hebrews 11 verse 3.